All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I do apologize for the long delay. I ended up being uh, away with family for Thanksgiving holiday and did not get a chance to get back for quite some time. And so I'd just been super busy and finally got back to this again. So uh, the video now resumes uh, and you will see here what else I've gotten done. So thanks very much for being patient and hopefully you'll enjoy. Cheers. All right, so if you look, I've got the board completely populated. <laughs> I, I'm a bit annoyed. I, I uh, miscounted on how many of these guys I had, which is the point, uh, uh, 022 microfarad capacitors. I did luckily have a couple more of the older, you know, not older, but the cheaper, less expensive, not quite as nice as these uh, 715P that I use elsewhere. But I had to finish the board and I don't want to go and order just two right now. So if for some reason I think tone is missing, I will add those two. But those are for the power, like the PI outputs into the power stage. So I don't think it should be nightmarishly bad there. So most of the tone I think really happens in the earlier stages and then you're really amplified heavily and there's not as much color added there. But I may be mistaken and we'll find out. But uh, then I ran into a big problem. Uh, I did drop the board down in, but the problem I ran into um, was that these uh, standoffs that I'm using, I'll show them to you here. These ones are the standoffs that I'm using right there. Uh, oops, I put that behind, so I'll put it over here. That standoff is too short. I'm, if you kind of can see down here, they're the same height as the pins here and it needs to be a little bit above it. So I now have to go and buy some kind of standoffs that are, you know, at least half again taller than those just to give myself standoff distance from there. But I also don't want them to be as tall as this because that's where the, uh, um, what do you call it? The um, relay sits. So uh, yeah, it is very close, but I will have to pause at this point until I can go and buy myself some new standoffs. So and that's all we got done this week, guys, but uh, I will see you very soon. I think on the next video, really, it's gonna be me dropping the board in, wiring these guys into the board, all of the, you know, the wires that are sitting here, and then making sure that all of my uh, pots are wired up across here correctly, uh, and then soldering everything in here when I'm there. Um, again, I mentioned the master volume sits right here. I will basically be taking these two leads uh, off to the master volume, and the output of the bias, as I understand it, goes to the input of the master volume, and that's how you can kind of pull off that uh, and use that as a dual ganged pot. So, um, that's it for this week, guys. Um, as usual, if you like my videos, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, thumbs up, all of that kind of stuff uh, keeps me motivated to keep going. So thank you very much. Cheers. Well, gang, I've run out of time. And with the holidays coming up, I'm probably not gonna be able to touch this for a while. So as you know, I ran out of, uh, or I got had the wrong kind or wrong height. Uh, so I went and got myself uh, some more hardware, but that's going to have to be where I stop for now. Board is ready to put in, hardware is ready, but I've got the holidays coming up and whatnot. I'm going to be just super busy, so I probably won't be touching this again for, uh, I don't know, another <laughs> three or four weeks. So I apologize, but you're not going to get updates for a little while. So everybody have a good Thanksgiving for those of you that are in the area. And if not, uh, otherwise, I will see you when I get back around. Thanks. Cheers. All right, hello everybody. So, uh, I have now got, I've uh, gotten almost everything complete. Uh, I have to do one more thing, and I'll go over that in a second, but as you can see, I've got all of these connected in now, through, and then connected off also, uh, and we'll, we'll go through kind of what the different connections are, but, uh, and then I've also connected all of my B plus rails. I've, the only thing I don't have is my five volts over to the relay but I have to connect that in to the switch and to the foot switch, which I'm gonna have over here. Uh, and so I kind of have to, I'm, I'm trying to think exactly the best way to route that. I could kind of tie the switch and this together on the same line um, in a way that would allow me to, you have to kind of do it in the right way, but you just like connect one end here and then that same end over here. And then the output from that comes back, but the output from this comes back. But then I have to have one line that comes across to here and then around all the way back over to here. And that could induce noise. Now I could kind of tuck it up along this top edge maybe, and that might help avoid that. But uh, another thing is just to run a set one line here that's back and forth. And then the, uh, uh, effectively it's a switch. All you have to do is have one switch in line, but I'm doing two. We can have this ground, this one on the front so people can switch manual on the front if they want, or there'll be a foot switch here. Uh, and that just really is gonna turn on or off the five volts to this five volt relay. So you can see here as well, I've got the master volume hooked up. Um, I've used a shielded wire for all of that because I was, uh, as everything I've read says that you should use shielded wire. I did do a thing that was kind of silly is I should have created two more um, holes here because I needed to have these guys connecting to here and then from there back to where they these used to connect. Instead, I've had to just connect a wire across it uh, and, I'll, and I'll basically 
just be kind of, you know, you can see, I might put just a dollop of silicone here and here to kind of keep those from moving, but effectively they don't have a connection on this side, but I've just covered them with shrink tubing all, and then bringing them up and then their grounds are all grounded over here. So I've got nice shielded connections through everything, excepting the bias input or the bias connection here that comes in the negative bias. So, um, and then, uh, the other things in general, so the, the, I have my A node here that then connects directly into the, you know, the, um, this, the, both the main inputs here, but also connects into the an anodes is, uh, of this side. Then that jumps down to, uh, through this, the choke over to the B, the B connection is connected over to, where was it? Here, oh no, the B goes to the screens. So those are these red ones here. Then the C connection is the one that jumps over and connects here. D connection comes over and connects in here. And then the, the last one here connects in here, but also then jumps down to here as well. Uh, or actually, I might have to double check that. I think that technically, I think I want this one to connect to here. Uh, I'll, I'll double check. That's one thing that I need to make sure I have right because effectively the last two nodes, this one and this one, both need to be off just a single jumper. Uh, so they're kind of at, at a unity connection, but we'll, we'll double check that. Um, so yeah, I think everything is done except my relay switching, which will get sorted. Uh, and then I've got all of the, uh, everything else connected. You can see here, I've got the screen outputs. I mean, the, the, the grid, these are the grid stoppers and the grid connections come out to each of those. And I'm running them as close to the top of the board as possible, because I also have all my B plus that will be down here. So I'm trying to kind of run down below and out of the way of that to try and avoid any crosstalk between the B plus and there. But, um, uh, they are at right angles. So that also should help any potential noise. Um, and the power output stage is the least sensitive of those stages. So, um, so yeah, I, I have it almost ready. I just need to f finish that last little bit and then I'll have to go through and just double check, triple check, make sure everything is looking good. And if I am comfortable at that point, then we will effectively be ready to do our first fire up. So, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for me this time around. Thanks everybody. Uh, hopefully next video we'll have uh, a nice demo of the first firing up and of the audio output of this guy. So, Cheers.